Hey guys, it's X2X Gaming and welcome back to another Minecraft video. And in today's video, we are going to be building the 4x4 piston Waldo that I designed. And as you can see, it is 12 blocks wide and 4 blocks deep with the original one that I made. But I thought I could go smaller. So I just made one which is only 10 blocks wide. And I'm sure you guys have already seen it from my other video. So yeah, let's go ahead and take a look at that design and then we are going to build this thing. As you can see, it's right here and it's only 10 blocks wide. Which is, I think it's really good for my first 4x4. I think it's actually the smallest one. I'm joking, it's, it's not the smallest one. Anyways, this is how it looks without the, red, uh, without the wall. And yeah, let's get straight into the building because... I'm so excited. So, yeah. Anyways, we are going to start with two blocks up. Oh, uh, sorry. Yeah, we have to go two blocks up. And then we are going to make a four block platform. Just for four blocks long. And, yeah. Oh, sorry. I think that's five blocks, right? Yeah, that's five blocks. And then we're going to have redstone dust on it. And we're going to have sticky pistons on the side of the redstone dust. And I'm using green because that represents the lower piston re re retraction. Never mind. It represents, it represents the lower piston retraction circuit. So you do not have to do that. You can use blocks of your choice. And also I'm using iron blocks for the door, which are expensive. So you can use anything else. But again, iron blocks look like they can be a door. Anyways, if I power up that, that's what you should get out. And yeah, sorry, that is not meant to happen. And let me just equip my quartz this time. And now we can build the 6x6 frame that goes around the 4x4 piston door. So like that and you should count one two three four and then you build one up and then you build the side the same over here one and then oh i have to delete that that's not in the correct place but doesn't matter delete that really easily and now we're going to take our sticky pistons like that and we're going to place it on the side we're going to place it on that side and we're going to do two sticky pistons. Oh, sorry. How many times have I said sorry in this video? So like that, two sticky pistons and then we're going to have two sticky pistons on this side as well. Like that and like that, then we can break the block we have placed. And now I'm going to place four on the roof. And yeah, that's the mechanical frame done. Half of it. I've not done the double piston extenders yet, but it's fine. Now let's get on to the actual frame. But first of all, let's fill the door blocks. And right now it looks like a f 4 by 3 But let me just turn off the door. Then it'll look correct. Okay. So, yeah. If I turn off the door right now, then you can see it's a perfect 4 by 4 with the block between each of them of the corners then we are going to place our you know wall blocks i guess that's what we can call them and you have to make sure that they're at least four blocks apart from that piston one two three four and we are do we are not placing them in the corners because a we're putting redstone on the corners b because uh, we are no one's going to see the corners and c because it's a waste of materials also i'm making it five blocks instead of four just for the sake of it and yeah this looks really nice again we don't want to keep it in the corners and as you can see to my right that looks so bad with two iron blocks and then the rest are quartz so I'll make the whole strip iron blocks because I think it will look ten times better okay also if you don't know this I'm actually I'm actually, there was some problem with the video and my voice got captured, but it was wrong. So I'm actually, I've recorded the video already, but I'm re-saying everything. 
to like if you put it like that i'm re-saying everything because my voice didn't get captured anyways we're gonna build two blocks out and then we're gonna build one block above okay just one block above like that with a redstone torch on top not a lever a leadstone torch i said leadstone so never mind a block on top of that on the side of it first then a block on top of it then a redstone dust over here then a block on the side of this redstone dust then a block on top of it and yeah that's that and then we're gonna have a distant torch in this block but i'll keep that in later and yeah sorry i'm going to have my orange circuit and the orange circuit is for the upper piston extension and the purple circuit is for the side piston extension. And there's only one more circuit left, which is the pink one, which is going to be the double piston extender circuit. And yeah. So, sorry, that shouldn't go there. Okay, so now we're going to have a pink circuit, which is for the double piston extender like that and like that. And then we're going to have a purple block underneath this pink block right there underneath it this is going to take a while isn't it okay underneath it finally now we're gonna have some redstone dust redstone dust redstone redstone just a repeater set to three to four ticks and then a you know blocks of your choice and yeah that's that and now we're going to do the same thing on this side so i'll just remove that one for now so yeah let's get started on this side so again two blocks out one block up you know it should look just the same as that one block up redstone dust but i'm not gonna put it yet a redstone torch right there then a block on top of the redstone torch. A block next to the redstone torch. A redstone dust next to the block next to the redstone dust. Re uh, never mind, you know what I'm doing. And then our orange circuit. Sorry, block of quartz. Our orange circuit. Like that and like that. Orange circuit. Then I'm just going to replace that with quartz. Then our pink circuit for the double piston extenders. And then the block beneath the pink circuit. Like that. And then we are going to have our redstone dust, two of them. And then another one. And then another one here, another one there. A redstone repeater set to max sticks and a block of your choice and that's that side of the door done and now I'm going to test it out but I already know it's not going to work because I missed the redstone torch I didn't put the redstone torch but anyways let's flick the lever and it doesn't work Okay, so, oh, yeah, there's no redstone over here. Of course. Let me just flick it off. Now it should work. It's not going to work. Because I didn't put the redstone torch. So now I'm being confused as to what was wrong. So I put placed a redstone dust over there. Oh, no. This cannot end well. And this is definitely not going to work. Anyways, let's do that. And yeah, let's try it again. Okay, guys, I'm, I'm back. And as I said, a redstone torch needs to be over there. Like that. And that is what makes it work, as you can see. And one over there, we can remove that. We don't need that. And now it should work. Yay, it works. And I will flick it on, off, and flick it on again. As you can see, 
that's our frame done and now it's time for the double piston extenders so we're gonna dig a huge hole and let me remind you this is the hardest thing in the world i'm just joking it's really easy it's all about the timings and personally i don't like the 360 that much it's not it doesn't work for each and every build but none of them work for each and each and every build i personally like the 480 anyways i'm using c lunches for the double piston extenders so that you know there's a bit of texture between the iron blocks and c lunches give light now we're gonna have some pink blocks right there and you don't have to use pink but that's the circuit repeater set to no ticks apparently another repeater then we're gonna have observers looking at those repeaters um what am i doing okay so it's on three ticks note that down repeater on three ticks then we're going to have the observer block which is looking at the repeater with a block on top of it and yeah with a block on top of it with a block on top of it yay i did it and yeah that's basically it for java edition but we are in bedrock so quasi connectivity is not a thing so we have to make an additional slab tower which increases my build by four blocks which is amazing okay so now just a very simple slab tower and i know i say simple but i'm really bad at making slab towers i always struggle like so and then a redstone dust and a redstone dust and that's half of it done now this side and yeah that's basically it for the double piston extend over here and it was actually simple really it was really simple yeah so that's that and now if we flick it we should see the double piston extension also yeah so that's that and yeah we do that and everything is connected so basically this observer is powering that that slap tower is powering that block and this observer is powering this block so every three ticks when in this piston will power pushing over there and then this observer will power which will do nothing it will do nothing for now and the slap tower will power that block which will power the piston it's not really complicated i'll explain it in another video but i assume that most of you know what a double piston extender is so yeah i'm just going to let this run it's a slideshow how long does this how long is this going to take does it take so much time to explain how a double piston extender works this is what happens when your voice doesn't work or i should say your mic doesn't work anyways if i turn it on as you can see that's the double piston extension and the double piston retraction and now we just have to do the top double pistons and we're done and i have no idea how this video took 20 minutes i should have done this in like five okay never mind so now we are going to have we're gonna have the double piston extension so i guess let's build it so we are going to build a 480 and those repeaters are powering these pink blocks which are powering these pistons and they're also powering the pistons on that side so we can use it for a multi-purpose and of course redstone dust would not really work anyways let's just replace that and yeah now we just have to do this side i mean like the wiring for the redstone for the double piston extender so we're gonna place a redstone dust over there right here but first let's do this a repeater set to four ticks okay and another repeater set to four ticks then a block on the face of the repeater then a redstone dust right here and we do the thing on the other side and we are done with the whole door 
we don't have to place a redstone dust there. Basically, that breaks the whole system. And yeah, this side is really simple. Four ticks, four ticks, and a block. And that's it. The whole door is complete. That is the whole 4x4 four four vault door. Completed in around 15 minutes. So that's really slow. And yeah, as you can see, it's really fast and it's really reliable. So yeah, as you can see, it's not even going to break if you spam the lever. So as you can see, this is the whole piston door in its, what do you call it? In its glory. And yeah. I know this might not be the smallest design, it might not be the fastest design, it might not be the coolest looking design, but it's my design. And that's what makes me happy about it. I was going to say that's what makes it special, but let's be honest, it's not really special. So, yeah, that's that and another brief introduction of how this thing works. And... Wow, I never thought it would take so much time to explain how a double piston extender works. What, what did I even say? I, I don't remember. Okay, this is really boring to watch. Anyway, anyways guys, like I hope you enjoyed this video. And I'm not done yet, there's like 4 minutes left. But yeah, this is basically the piston door done and i'm sorry like the video was delayed because of the 6x6 wall door design but even the 6x6 wall door design is really cool so yeah and this is a torch tower which is a bit more weird of a torch tower it's a weird torch tower yeah that's what it is it's the it's the vtc never mind Anyways, if we flick this lever, it's working. And it's, it's, it's still working. I don't know why it would break. And the problem with this design is like you can't have it flush with the wall. As you can see, those blocks over there are a nuisance. But if you built my design that I came up with originally the day before yesterday, this design right here, it works. Anyways, this is how it's going to look. For the one that I showed you today, you're going to have to make something like this. Which looks cool. But the four, it's not really that amazing, I guess. You'd have to have a 6x6. Six six. Never mind, okay? But this one, you can have it flat. Like that. Which is a bit more nicer looking. But let's be honest, both of them looks look really nice, I would say. And yeah, if we flick this lever... It's going to work. Please flick it. As you can see, it's working. The same speed, same everything. And yeah. And now I'm going to show you guys how to wire this thing up. So if you have this sort of thing, so you're going to place a block over there, a redstone da repeater, and then a block on top, and a block next to it, and then a lever. And that's that and yeah that's very simple and now let's close that and let's do this side so the same thing but this side is one block higher so we are going to do the same thing but as you can see there's going to be a redstone dust not just two blocks so that's where the level originally was we remove it and then we place a block repeater and basically this is how we do it and that's the whole design done if you're yeah it's done as you can see, it works. I didn't actually show you that it works, but it works. I just realized. I was showing you guys. I was showing you guys how to wire this up. Like, I, I showed you guys to how to place two, rep uh, two repeaters and a redstone dust. I'm just assuming that if you guys build this whole piston door, you can at least manage the wiring on yourself. I don't know why I did that. That was really unnecessary. Anyways, if you like this video, um, I hope you enjoyed my piston door design. And yeah, the 6x6 tutorial is coming up by tomorrow, hopefully. 
And yeah, thanks for watching and bye guys. See you.